Five soldiers of the invading Russian army surrendered to Ukrainian fighters. The invaders, who were taking a position in the forest area and among them the wounded, saw the Ukrainian drone and decided to surrender. Holding a white flag and a piece of paper written, Captive, in their hands, Russian soldiers went in the direction indicated by the drone and reached the position of Ukrainian fighters. Recall that as many as 18,000 Russian soldiers were said to have left the military ranks during the war in Ukraine. A significant portion of this number, conscripts who were mobilized at the beginning of the war, may have done so due to low morale, according to Ukrainian media. Kiev Independent, citing the Ukrainian military intelligence agency, reports that soldiers from the Russian Southern Military District, whose units are deployed in Ukraine, are increasingly deserting their posts. Many observers point to low morale as a returning problem for the Russian armed forces fighting in Ukraine. Ukrainian media report that of the 18,000 soldiers of the Southern Military District, about 12,000 belong to the 8th Combined Army, a unit often used during wartime operations in eastern Ukraine. The Ukrainian army finally received shells to stop the Russians near Kharkiv. Ukrainian soldiers in the Kharkov region finally received shells to stop Russian troops. Reuters reports this. The agency recalled that Ukraine's defenders were paralyzed for months due to a shortage of artillery shells and other weapons as the US Congress delayed billions of dollars in military aid. Russian forces exploited their advantage at the front as they pushed forward on the Eastern Front. With Congress belatedly approving a $61 billion aid package last month, Ukrainian gunners say the crippling deficit is beginning to ease. Local residents say the fighting in the northern Kharkiv region is more intense than in Bakhmut, which Russia captured last year and reduced to ruins. It's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Their infantry continues to advance. We continue to fight off attacks. When possible, we destroy them. Previously, we were stationed in the Bakhmut area. Now we have been transferred here. It's much hotter here. There, we didn't have shells. Here, at least, we have shells. They started to be brought in. We have something to work on. A gunner of the 92nd Separate Assault Brigade of Ukraine operating a howitzer told the agency. The military is reportedly confident that the supply of shells will continue as everyone understands the importance of holding the front. If we can demonstrate now that we are capable of stopping a large-scale enemy offensive on Kharkov and the Kharkov region in such an extreme situation, then the enemy will not dare to think about attacking Kyiv, Chernihiv region, Sumy or Poltava region, the commander of one of the artillery units told Reuters. Russian forces recently began a summer offensive, grabbing several villages on Ukraine's northeastern frontier near the city of Kharkiv as they attempt to break through a weakened Ukrainian front line. US fears Russian counter space weapons may attack other satellites. The United States Space Command suggests that the satellite launched by Russia last week is a weapon capable of attacking other satellites in low Earth orbit. According to a United States Space Command representative in a conversation with journalists, Russia deployed this new counter space weapon into the same orbit as a US government satellite. We have observed nominal activity and assess it is likely a counter space weapon presumably capable of attacking other satellites in low Earth orbit, Pentagon Press Secretary Major General Pat Ryder has claimed. This involves the deployment of at least nine satellites in low Earth orbit, including Cosmos 2576, which is described as a type of Russian military inspector spacecraft. These satellites were launched into space by the Russian Soyuz rocket from the Plesetsk Cosmodrome on May the 16th. This mix of military and civilian payloads was totally unexpected. Never seen that before on a Russian launch, said Bart Hendricks, a longtime analyst tracking Russia's space program. An American official familiar with the intelligence data explained that US services anticipated the launch of Cosmos 2576 and informed allies of their assessment of the satellite before its deployment in space. The US intelligence report said that Cosmos 2576 resembled previously deployed Russian anti-satellite payloads from 2019 and 2020. 
Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov rejected the Pentagon's claims as misinformation. I don't think we should be responding to every fake coming from Washington, he told journalists. The Russian space program is developing smoothly and includes launches of spacecraft for various purposes, including those that solve the issues of strengthening our defense capabilities, the diplomat said. However, he reiterated that Moscow consistently opposes the deployment of strike weapons in low Earth orbit. The Americans may say whatever they want, but Russia's policy on the issue will not change, Ryabkov stressed. If the US really wanted to achieve security in space, it would have reconsidered its destructive approach and accepted Russia's proposal to develop a treaty on the prevention of an arms race in outer space, he said.